Hello there. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm John Marlo Alvarez Soriano, and I'm a graduate student of the Grand Canyon University, taking up Masters of Arts in TESOL, or teaching English to speakers of other languages. And right now, I'll be creating a video about my professional disposition as a teacher. Let's start off by defining what professional dispositions are. So when you say professional dispositions, these are your set of values, your professional ethics as a teacher that you need to abide and follow because they will influence and affect your students, the families, your co-workers, the learning community in general. And here at GCU College of Education, we need to uphold these dispositions so that it will be in line with the mission statement of our university. Well, based on my experience, I could say that one disposition that is so close to my heart is respect for diversity of others. I'm just so fortunate that I grew up in a community in my local town in President Rojas in, in the Philippines where I have a lot of diverse classmates. I remember that we have classmates who are indigenous people. We speak different dialects. As soon as I continued my education in college, I remember that it's like a melting pot of diversity. A lot of Catholic, Christians, Muslim in the university where I graduated. And I think, you know, that experience prepared me to, to be here in the U.S. because I see a lot of diverse learners in my class and I could relate to it. So that's why I really have this high respect for diversity and I celebrate it. Another disposition that I believe that is true to myself is compassion. I believe that I have that empathy towards my students. I've been very consistent about that. Since I was in the Philippines and going here in the U.S., I believe that I always have that empathy towards my students. I feel what they feel. I feel their struggle. It's easier for me to connect to them and build that relationship to them. I remember that whenever there are games or any recital of their dance or like just a simple recital for singing or something like that, I would always come and be there for them. And having that compassion is very important. It goes beyond the academic part of the learning. For as long as you're sincere to that, I think you can never go wrong. And lastly, I truly believe that the most important disposition that I have within me is my dedication to the craft, to the art of teaching. This is my calling. For the past 17 years, when I started at an early age of 20, it's the same excitement that I feel up to this very day when I get into my class, when I deal with my students. And I think it shows and it resonates to my students. It's all about the dedication and my commitment. And you know what, I'm so proud that I am seeing the return of my investment, seeing all my students become successful, seeing them fulfill their dreams, and that makes me happy. If there's one disposition that I think that I need to work on, not necessarily because I don't have it. I admit that I'm not a traditional type of teacher. I can be a little bit modern and sometimes, you know, when you're too modern, sometimes you can be a little bit reckless. So I think if there's one disposition or aspect of professional disposition that I need to work on or I have to remind myself, it has to be professional conduct like the words that I say, or even my actions sometimes, or being a little bit childish, I have to be mindful about that. It's a work in progress, and I feel like I've matured more because of my experience here in the U.S. as well. That's not just um, for me, but for all teachers, that we have to be very mindful about professional conduct. And having said those two things, I myself or we teachers in general should constantly remind ourselves because we have to follow certain standards as professional teachers in terms of the way we dress, the way we behave in public, the way we deal with our students, to their parents, that as much as possible we have to set that boundary of what is professional and what is a personal. And sometimes we have to be reminded with the model code of ethics and behavior as a teacher. Yeah, I think that those are guide and standards that would help us to look like not just a professional, but also it will protect our profession and career.